Hey, so today we're going to talk about how to safely ship 12 cards, up to 12 cards uh, in a PWE, a plain white envelope using the ESE, the eBay standard envelope program. So what we're going to need, we're going to need our cards. This is an actual shipment that I will be uh, sending out. This is actually only an 11 card order, but it's all the same, 11 or 12 cards. So uh, we're going to use a scale. You can use a postage scale. You can use a kitchen scale, which is what this is. Just a kitchen scale. All works the same. We're going to use a tape measure. Tape measure will be used to make sure we stay within the boundaries of the United States Postal Service of a quarter inch thickness. Uh, and we use the postage scale because we want to be under three ounces. And then a uh, piece of copy paper, our plain white envelope, and uh, our blue tape, whoa, our blue tape. So here's what we're gonna do. This is an actual eBay order. My eBay store, scrolling at the bottom of the screen, 99centcards.com. You can also check out 1milliondcubs.com. That'll take you to all my socials. So, oh, also important, we're gonna need card savers. So I use card saver one. These are a little thicker. From Cardboard Gold through Columbia Hobby, Card Saver ones, they are wider and they will uh, enable you to, to put two, three, sometimes four, depending on thickness of your cards, into one of these card savers. So uh, we're going to start uh, putting in, I do three cards at a time within these card savers. So uh, we're going to do, since this is an 11 card order, we're going to do three, 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 two. So here's our first card saver filled with three cards. I'm going to do another three card. Now I also do this same method for seven card orders. I do three, two, two on seven card orders. Uh, if it's a nine card order, typically I do three, three, three. Uh, but sometimes I do three, two, two, two uh, with four card savers. Um, again, the most important part is to make sure you stay within the USPS guidelines for white envelope shipments under three ounces and a quarter inch thickness on your envelope. So we're putting the final two cards in. So we have our four card savers. So we have four card savers, three cards in this one, three cards in this one, three cards in this one, two cards in this one. I think I was backwards on that, but you get the point. There was two cards in that first uh, card saver. So we have our four. Now we're gonna set this over here. Now we just get a, a blank piece of copy paper, whatever you so choose. So now we're going to stick them in this way. And so here I'll turn this around and show you how I'm putting these cards. We're going to try fold it, but I stick them in like this just to make sure there's consistent thickness throughout the envelope. That is what creates problems uh in the sorting machines and we're going to do the same with the next one and i just go in reverse so now the problem that can occur if you don't tape these down and secure them to the piece of copy paper they could all shift during the mailing process so that's why we're going to use the blue tape blue tape is our friend team tape here so i'm going to use three small pieces of blue tape and we're going to see it carefully because I don't want these to shift. See how easily they shift? Even just me picking them up, they, they shift. So we're going to tape that. We're going to tape each end, and I'll show you here in a moment. I'm going to tape this end. So we've got both ends taped down and secured, and then we're going to stick one right in the middle. So this is how it's going to look, and I can move this all around and look. No shipping or no shifting. However, if I didn't tape these down, there would be a lot of shifting. So now we just do the old trifold. I'm going to fold this down, this here. I just want it nice and tight because we want to keep that thickness to a minimum. So here we go. We have our long piece. Of course, I use standard number 10 envelopes. Why do I use standard number 10 envelopes? So I can ship up to 12 cards in a plain white envelope. You can't do that with the uh, number six, the smaller or the shorter envelopes, because you try to put 12 cards there, 
you're going to create a, a thickness. So here's our standard number 10. We're going to stick that in like so. Again, just kind of make sure all the, the, the bubbles, <laughs> everything we've got. This is perfect. This is nice, solid thickness throughout. This is the perfect PWE. Now, we want to make sure, is it the perfect PWE? It might not be. We need to take out our kitchen scale, postage scale, whatever. And we've got it turned on to ounces. So with eBay standard envelope program, one ounce postage is 60 cents. Two ounces is 84 cents. Three ounces is a dollar eight. So if it's in between one and two ounces, go up to two ounces because you don't want to get a, you don't want your buyer to be dinged with, hey, you owe an extra amount. So we're going to stick that on there. And guess what it comes in at? 2.2 ounces. So we are well within the three ounce of weight. But that's not all. We need to make sure this is thickness. That's the big key. So uh, we've got a uh, little bit of thickness there. So we're 2.2 ounces. So we will use three ounces of postage because it is more than two so we need to go up to the next so we've got our our tape measure so where is a quarter a quarter inch quarter inch is not uh not very thick so there's a half inch and there's a quarter inch right there so we need to make sure that's all the thickness there is for a quarter inch will this let's get right up Look at how much room we have to work with. If you can't see it, look at that. That's a quarter inch. We've got a lot of work. So this is well within a quarter inch thickness. It's 2.2 ounces. There's 11 cards, four card savers. And that, my friends, is how you ship safely 12 cards in an eBay standard envelope. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and check out my eBay store, 99centcards.com.